y'all. So since social media and WhatsApp is down, what are y'all doing with y'all selves? Out of curiosity. Are you reading some books? What's happening? I'm curious to know that when y'all go and get on YouTube, what determines if you watch and subscribe a tarot reader? What qualities are you looking for? What type of readings are you looking for? What do you do with the info that you consume watching tarot on YouTube? I'm just trying to get some understanding, you know? The comments on here should definitely be open. Hey, Mr. Lizard. And listen, don't take this the wrong way, but I don't call myself no witch. I don't call myself no healer. I'm not gonna call. Them, I don't. I don't do labels unless it's wife to somebody I'm married to. That's the only label I go by. You you understand? My only title is CEO. I'm Jasmine. AKA Proud Mom, BKA the Empress. So listen, I heard somebody talking about they seen some spell books in my videos. This says prayers for protection and magic to destroy witchcraft. What's wrong? Hmm. What's wrong with that? <laughs> and this ain't no spell book, baby. It's my prayer journal, baby. I don't write spells. I did pick up a little spell book off of from Target. I would go get it, but I'm not. But it's, um, I got pictures and a video of it on Facebook. It's like prayers for healing, like self-care. Like, that's what it is. It's for spells to do on yourself. Me personally, I just use affirmations, you know? Affirmations. Nevertheless... I want to know what y'all, you know, looking for when you come on here, you know? <clears throat> what animal is that? That looks like a kitten. Is that a kitten? Hold on.
Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna bother it though. Excuse me. Hmm. <clears throat> so yeah, I was just curious to know that. What do y'all get out of watching tarot on YouTube? What are you looking for? What type of readings do you consume? And what you feed inside of you? Are you are you feeding flowers or weeds? Not marijuana, but like, you know, the ugly ass weeds that if you see the house, you like, they know they need their grass cut type of weeds. <clears throat> when I first started this channel, I wasn't expecting to actually do tarot on it. I was just going to like provide y'all with some like meditation techniques natural health consulting techniques and relaxation therapy techniques Tara only got involved when a bunch of lame AMFs came for me spiritually trying to take my gifts my whack ass baby daddy the last one went and told some hoe I did a reading on him before so she decided, oh, let me steal her essence. You can never. Yes, it was very foolish. Nevertheless, listen, the universe, the universe don't take disrespectful lightly. I ain't talking about law enforcement. I'm not talking about um, the idols and deities on churches. I'm talking about life, universe. What what makes people think they can say, fuck the universe, the universe played me, and they want to go get karma? What makes y'all think y'all could do death rituals on strangers that you don't even know and not get karma? Y'all got to stop judging books by its cover. It's not healthy. I feel like if you met me on the street, you would not know how many kids I have unless you see them with me. When you talk to me, you're going to like my vibe. And if you're intimidated, that just means there's something about me that you wish you had in you. It's in you. It's just dormant. Depending on how we interact, It'll come out or you'll suppress it and lose it. That wasn't one of them, a book that I read. It's a deity out here that says that it's actually one of the planets, to be honest with you. Nevertheless, one in the same. If you have gifts, God given gifts, and you don't use them, you'll lose them. But in this day and age and at this time if you use them for negative purposes to harm people that have not harmed you what you think that does that sh that empowers the person that you're trying to hurt whether it's with lies literal spell work whatever And if you know people that do that, distance yourself. I ain't taking on nobody's karma. I ain't taking on nobody, especially not negative ass karma, but stop. <laughs> now, I'll never forget seeing a post by somebody that said they hated humans and then started offering tarot readings. How you hate humans, but you pulling on their energy? Where are the people that they read for now? Hmm. Hmm. Mm, mm, 
<sighs> I don't understand. That's a spiritual gift. You don't know if a woman is cursed if she uses her body and sexuality as a weapon. If she's too aggressively, if she's too aggressive sexually. If her conversation comes off domineering and controlling. Know. It's pretty easy to find out who's promiscuous nowadays. Use your common sense. You can go on somebody's profile or look at what people are posting. Any female that say, just because I'm posting that I want dick don't mean I'm out here fucking. She's a liar. That means she's expecting money, but she doesn't want you to tell nobody. Those type of females will lead you into a trap. That once y'all start having sex and you, you know, start date, dating, it turns into like, well, I need money for this or I need money for that. Or where you coming over here? What you doing? Where you at? Who you with? That's a no-no. It's still women out here that only have sex with one person. It's women out here that still only text with genuine care and concern with romantic feelings, one person. It's still women out here that know how to express, hey, I understand you're going through some things and growing. Just know that I'm here as an ear or a shoulder. It's, I'm not the only one. Shit. It's rare, but mm, we out here. We just be having to heal from being spiritually attacked. Plus learning about, you know, the things our grandparents and great grandparents and great, great, great parents and great, 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 great grandparents went through. But nevertheless, I was just curious to know. I've been wanting to know these things. I'm not even talkative in person unless you're talking to me. And when you're talking to me, Try to have sense. Try to make it make sense. Or else I'm going to try to help you understand. You know? And people be getting scared because they be having questions and I, I be having an answer. But the answer is already within them. But what I ask them brings that answer out and it freaks them out. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Nevertheless. I'm deciding to put together a package of services. So either you could do $30 a week for um, three different types of spreads and one reading. Or you could do a monthly lump sum of $120, $150 in March and June. And um, you'll get it automatically sent to you. Either on a Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say. <laughs>